Now that we included our IO stream and our header, you might say, but what is the point of including things? Well, it makes our main source code look much cleaner and easier to read. Now we will get back into coding, so now type using which tells the compiler to use a group of functions, and then press space then type namespace, and press another space then type std, and finally put a semicolon. This will come in handy soon. The semicolon at the end is part of the syntax of C++. It tells the compiler that you're at the end of a command. By putting this line at the top of a file, you allow the program to use functions of the standard library also known as std. Now let's begin typing the main function of the file. What a function is will be explained later on, but for now just know that it is pretty much the building blocks of your source code. Every function has inputs and outputs, and we will learn about these later on. Now this is a simple function, but you must include this main function in all source codes you create. Basically to type the function you just type in a variable then press space and type in your function's name and an opening and closing parentheses right after the name. Then you press enter and put the opening and closing bracket which will let your compiler know anything enclosed in the brackets is part of the code in our main function. Currently we haven't or integer typed in as our variable then we have main as the name of the function and our parentheses are there. We will talk about variables in the next tutorial, but for now let's talk about this return zero in our main function. Like I said before a function can input and output data. In this example since our function is an integer it outputs a number value. We can set this number value with this thing called return. To set the value of our main function we just type return and whatever integer value we want in a semicolon at the end of our main function. Now our main function's value is 0, 